Today, we're going to be showing UiPath Action Center. UiPath Action Center helps automate long and complex processes from start to finish through seamless human-robot collaboration from a single platform. Here, we will look at a complex automation for invoice processing that requires human-robot handoff of tasks. The goal is to remove the mundane work and bring humans in the loop only when needed to make critical decisions. In this demo, we'll use UiPath Action Center to automate invoice processing where an unattended UiPath robot looks for invoices that need to be processed, extracts the required data from the invoice, processes the invoice, and finally submits it into an ERP system, in this case SAP. During this process, if the robot needs human assistance, it automatically creates a task for a human and moves on with other jobs until the human performs the required action. Here, we will look at two scenarios. First, an invoice backed up by a purchase order. Second, an invoice without a purchase order. Let's look at the scenario where the invoice has a PO number. The robot picks up the invoice and extracts the data, including PO number invoice number, invoice date, vendor name, total amount, net amount, and tax amount. As this invoice has the PO number, the robot matches the line items in the invoice with the existing PO in the SAP system. Here, we see the robot entering the basic invoice data into SAP, followed by PO number and the invoiced amounts. This lets SAP perform matching to PO amounts and quantities. In this case, upon posting in SAP, you will notice the document is posted with a blocked for payment message due to PO invoice unit price mismatch. Immediately, the robot creates a new action for a business user to review this matching exception and to make the final approval. While the user acts on this task, the robot is free to pick up other jobs. Here, we see the task in the action inbox of UiPath Action Center. The task is in the unassigned status. The respective user can either accept this task or assign it to someone on the team. Here, we see that the user accepts the task and approves it to confirm that the higher unit price is accepted. As soon as the user approves the invoice, the next available robot gets triggered to continue the process. The robot then locates the blocked invoice in SAP and release it for payment. In the next scenario, we see that the invoice selected doesn't have a PO number. The robot creates an action and sends it to Actions Inbox for a business user to perform GL coding of this non-PO invoice. Upon seeing the task in the inbox, the user accepts the task, checks the invoice, and adds the respective GL codes for each of the line items, then submits the task as complete. When the user acts on this task, the robot is free to pick up other jobs. Immediately, an email and a mobile notification is sent to the manager for the final approval. In this case, the manager has the UiPath mobile app installed on her mobile phone and gets a notification of a task that needs her attention. Once the manager opens the task on her mobile application, she can see the invoice details and add any comments and can either accept the task or assign it to others on the team. Now, the robot continues the process, logs into the SAP application, enters the required data from the invoice, and then updates the newly provided GL codes. Once GL codes are successfully submitted, we see the document number at the bottom of the screen. In this demo, we saw the power of UiPath Action Center allowing humans and robots to seamlessly collaborate for automation of a complex process. The possible automations supported by bringing human into the loop are endless. Get started on your automation scaling journey today.